podcast is brought to you by Aldis International, supplying your expert AI and digital transformation staffing needs across the US and Europe. Today, you are listening to our AI in Action series, where leading minds in AI from across the world share their story, success, and advice. AI in Action cuts through the hype and explores the true impact of artificial intelligence in our world today. You're listening to AI in Action. I'm your host, JP Valentine. Our guest today is Yilin Chen. Yilin is the co-founder and CTO at Finney Health. Yilin, welcome to the show. Thank you so much, JP. Thank you for having me. So Yilin, let's start with yourself, please. Could you give us a bit of an overview of your background in technology from where you got started, some of the roles you've held along the way, and take us up to today as co-founder and CTO at Finney Health? For sure. So my interest in computer science really began as a kid, just kind of loving to build stuff with my hands you play with Legos and stuff and decided that I wanted to build a career out of it, building stuff with computers and went to computer science at UC Berkeley and was really exposed to, you know, the whole Silicon Valley tech scene and entrepreneurship amongst the whole community there. Tried a couple of things in university. Those didn't really pan out too well, you know, early failures, decided to get industry experience right after graduating. So spent some time soul searching amongst different jobs at like Redfin, Shopify, Swift, and finally decided that it was time for me to start my own thing again. Um, and so that's what led me to really find my passion here at Finney Health. Thank you for the background. And it leads us nicely into the launch of Finney Health. So. Tell us all about Finney Health, who you are, what you do, mission of the business, and where the idea came from. For sure. So Finney Health, we are a technology company in the ABA space. Really at the core of it, we help ABA practitioners launch their own digital practices. And so there's a lot of kind of moving parts to that core product, but the result of it is, you know, ABA practitioners get incentivized in all the right ways. They see the fruits of their labor. They also decrease the amount of time that they have to spend on manual admin tasks and other kind of uh, tasks that traditionally lead to burnout. And they are then able to focus on the quality of care and kind of customer satisfaction, client satisfaction. So we're really excited about the impact we're making. And the way we came up with this actually was very interesting. So my co-founder, Bucky Khan, his mother had growing up ran a very similar business and he was, he would help her with the operation side of things. And he saw the pain points firsthand of how bogged down she was with all these manual like operations tasks, administrative tasks. And for myself coming from actually Shopify, seeing that how impactful that business was to like small merchants and mom and pop shops, helping them start up and be, become entrepreneurs, that mission really resonated with me. And I really wanted to do something in healthcare because, you know, that industry, the one we're in, we really see the fruits of our labors like firsthand. We talk to our clients and our practitioners daily, and we see just how impactful we're making their lives. Thank you for that, Yelan. Look, it's a quite an interesting concept that you've created. I would love to understand now the 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 application in practice day to day, how it's helping parents, how you're working with the healthcare system and and working with clinicians and therapists. Can you describe a typical journey from first interaction? Absolutely. So in the therapy space and ABA kind of providers are typically undervalued and overworked. So they're typically tasked with providing all of the care, but also managing a lot of the operations and administrative tasks that go along with things. So, you know, managing billing, managing cancellations and scheduling clients and whatever. And what we do is we're eliminating all of the human error that really is incredibly common in this industry. That's normally very manual. So, you know, pen and paper, Google forms are actually still very prevalent in this space that we're in, which is honestly very surprising in 2022. And one of the main things here is that we're also building our system to be an ecosystem, right? We are a platform company. And so we have platforms that our, our practitioners use. However, all of them communicate with one another and they all integrate with each other. Whereas traditionally, this 
doesn't happen. You either have monolithic software companies that kind of handle everything, but their tech is very old and slow, or you have systems that just simply do not communicate and they have to then resort to pen and paper or Google kind of Google forms or Excel sheets to kind of manage the integration manually. So, yeah. Yeah. You touched on the technology aspect there. Obviously the topic of this podcast is AI and action. So can you describe Finney's health use of aspects of AI, whether it be that on the data engineering side, the automation and machine learning or data science and what insights you're deriving from the work that you're doing? There's a couple of issues here in, in the ABA space. I'll touch on the first one, which is that ABA at the heart of it is evidence-based. So that means that collecting data is crucial to understand the impact that therapists are making on the client's lives. And it's also cr critical to share this data with insurance companies so that we can actually receive payout. Um, so the entire industry relies heavily on data. However, nobody's actually building meaningful software to actually extract value from it, except for us. Currently, the status quo is that therapists will collect all of this data, whether it be with a data collection software or pen and paper slash Google Forms, and they will just manually review data throughout the week and throughout the time that they're with the client to manually look at trend lines, manually try to catch regressions or kind of stagnations in a client's progress. So what we're doing is obviously automating all of that. It's, that problem is actually an incredibly basic machine learning problem, as we all know. And we're really excited about the work, the, the efficiencies that we can gain from that. The next is the kind of source of truth issue. So like I said before, systems in this space don't integrate or talk to one another. And so developing a single source of truth becomes an issue for most companies. And this just leads to inefficiencies and difficulties in communication. So we're actually building like a single source of truth amongst uh, multiple systems. It, it again, just eases communication and allows pr providers to spend more time providing care. Thank you for that. That flows nicely down into impact that it can have. Is there a recent example or a recent provider that you've worked with who've implemented Finney Health and had some positive results? Say, is there a recent journey or a story that you can share with us, which would help us visualize that the impact that you're having for your customers? Yeah, absolutely. So our first provider that jumped on the platform, she's definitely the most, the farthest along that we have. And so she's been able to free up so much time that she's actually taking on a 20% larger than normal caseload. And that's simply because she's able to, based on the efficiencies that she's able to gain with automating, data reviewing, automating kind of operational tasks. You are listening to the Aldis Podcast. When you're looking to scale your team, or if you are interested in showcasing your company in a future episode, reach out today. Or if you're in the market for a new role, visit our website to view open positions, www.aldis.com. Yelan, can, can you now talk to us about the team and, and the date today of what it looks like to work there at Finney Health from the data engineering side, the data science, what does a typical project look like? What does it like to be part of the team? Our team is still incredibly young. We started this company back in May. We are in the early phases, and that just means that every one of our team members has a lot of freedom. Right. Every one of us has essentially full context of what's happening in, in the business, and we really treat one another as leaders in our own space. And I'll give you an example where, you know, say I'm in charge of building an integration with a data collection software, then our kind of uh, our head of data is then owning the entire like data stack in Google Cloud that we're running. And we really trust each other to be autonomous and knowing what's the right next thing to build. And we essentially just ensure that everybody is incredibly aligned. So it's almost as if we have like multiple CTOs working on one big team. The hearing you describe the problem that Finney Health is trying to solve, it, it, it seems like that it, it's quite an obvious one, but yet there's no organization who, who've taken it on board to, to solve it. And you guys, see, sounds like you're early adopters to this. When you look at the project roadmap and the potential for Finney Health over the next year to two years, what are some of the milestones that you're working towards? And what are you excited about for, for this, for Finney Health's potential and how it could impact the industry as a whole? I mean, our team is all full of like young folks who have 
huge ideas about what we can accomplish. We think that this is one of the best uses of technology in the last couple months, years in healthcare. And so we have some grand plans that, you know, I think may be too good to share right now, but specifically in ABA, you know, we're excited about growing into additional states in the U.S. So right now we're currently only in the state of New Mexico and we're actively recruiting for providers who are looking to start their own clinic in a number of different states in the U.S. So we're really excited about, I think, first and foremost, growing our footprint to impact the lives of clients everywhere. And then obviously building our technology so that we can empower as many providers as we can. Final question for me then, Yilan, if we were to have you back on the show in a year to two years from now, what are some of the main goals that you're working towards and where do you expect the business to be 24 months from now? We definitely see our business growing incredibly quickly. We already are. The demand side of things, the, pr the provider growth side of things will definitely be a lot more mature. And so will our technology as a result of that. We're still in the early stages of building our models so that they provide the most value. We're still building our platform to setting up all the right infrastructure to collect the right data. And we really want our technology to be in the middle of the floor, supporting every other aspect of our team, supporting operations, billing, the clinical side. And we're still very early in that. And so in 24 months, we'll definitely see a lot more of our vision come to fruition and, you know, definitely be a leader in ABA space. Yellen, thank you so much for coming on today and talking to us. Great to learn about the, the origin story behind Finney Health. It sounds like you've identified a, a unique gap in the market where the services are desperately lacking and creating a solution to tackle that problem. So we wish you, the team and everyone at Finney Health the best of luck in the months and years to come. And we look forward to seeing what you guys can accomplish. Thank you so much, JP, and thank you for having me on. Thanks for listening to this episode of the Oldest Podcast. If you enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to subscribe, rate, and review. We are available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and any Android podcast of choice. You can also head over to our website, www.aldis.com, to listen to more podcasts, view our open roles, and stay up to date with industry news. Thanks for listening and stay tuned for more great episodes coming very soon.